A rookie for the Montreal Impact, Michael Salazar, has been given some time off from playing soccer. He is the most recent target of a sextortion attempt. Amanda Klein has more. Before getting noticed for his soccer skills, Michael Salazar is getting noticed for participating in sexual acts online. What he didn't know is that he was being recorded. And now there's a police investigation because someone threatened to publish the video online unless they were paid. Basically somebody is trying to blackmail you. It's a typical case of sextortion, says this cybersecurity yeah. expert. And paying up doesn't always mean it's over. Once they pay the ransom, they expect the video to be deleted. But it's a, it's a, uh, copies are usually made. So if they want to extort them again in the future, they could. I now totally realize the dangers of social media and the internet. There are criminals out there who will not hesitate to use the web to cause you harm. In Canada, the number of teenage sextortion rates rose 40% last year. But cybersecurity experts say anyone could be a victim. They have to understand that whenever they send out a photo or a digital video to somebody, the moment they send it out, they no longer control it. So they're really trying to put the trust in the other person to keep it secret. Trying to track down the person can be a complicated investigation. But if they're caught, they could face serious consequences. The maximum sentence available is life imprisonment, which puts it at the high end of the scale of, uh, of crimes. Sextortion is becoming more and more common, which is why the SQ has launched an awareness campaign. Print the screen to keep the proof of the conversation and stuff like that. And every, uh, also to, to complain to their police station, the local police or the Sûreté du Québec to press, to press charges. Meantime, Salazar has his team's support. He wasn't at practice today because he's been given time off. The rookie just hopes his experience will help others. If my situation can at least create awareness for this awful problem, then something constructive will come out of it. But no doubt a tough lesson learned for this young soccer player. Amanda Klein, CTV News.